Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. In this video, we are tackling mathematics, you know what I'm saying, specifically for grade 10s. However, even if you're doing grade 11 or you're doing grade 12, I would advise you guys to go and grab a pen and paper and let's do this math together, you know. Even if you've never done mathematics before, right, um, and you're just interested or intrigued, I mean, this video has been made so much easier such that anyone can understand what we're actually doing here, you know. So, yes, guys, um, let's just dive right into it and enjoy the fun of this subject. We are looking at linear functions today. This is an example of a linear function, you know. We usually call them straight line graphs. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's a straight line graph. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to look at different maneuvers, you know, that happen on a linear function and the effect that those maneuvers have on the equation of the line. You know what I'm saying? For example, this line can be shifted up. It can be shifted down. It can be shifted to the right or to the left. It can be reflected on the X axis. This is the X axis. Or it can be reflected on the Y axis. You know, this is the Y axis, right? And also we're going to speak about the gradient. You know what I'm saying? When we speak about the gradient, we speak about the steepness of the line. If the line is moving like this, the line is becoming much more um, gentle in terms of slope. But if it is moving in this manner, the line is becoming much more steeper. You know what I'm saying? Because it is close to the y-axis, right? So, all right, y is equal to mx plus c. I mean, that is the equation that you guys are used to. I'm sure you have heard it somewhere maybe in grade 9 or grade 8, right? That is the standard equation, you know, of a linear function. It's the standard equation. It's the standard equation of a linear function. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, this y is equal to mx plus c and f of x is equal to mx plus c. I mean, the first time I, I met f of x, I was like, what in the world is going on? I mean, I was used to y is equal to something, but now when I saw f of x, but... You know, it's to our advantage because of f of x made things much more easier. Now we're able to appreciate that y is a dependent variable. Is a dependent variable. And then x is an independent, independent variable. You know. All right. So basically... If x increases, something must happen to y. If x decreases, something must happen to y. You know what I'm saying? So f of x just puts it, you know what I'm saying, in clear terms that this is a function of x, right? So y is a function of x. So y is equal to mx plus c is the standard equation of a linear function, right? Okay, first of all, we're going to look at different terms that are housed in this equation. First of all, we've got M there. M represents the gradient. M represents the gradient, or we can call it the slope of the line. Of the line. You know, it has got an equation M equals to the change in Y divided by the change in X, right? It can also be written as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think we're going to appreciate that much more, you know, when um, either myself or one of my colleagues will be doing um, a, 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 a lesson on, on analytical geometry. You know what I'm saying? So, that is M. M speaks about the steepness of the line. The steepness. The steepness of the line you know okay let us draw something here that is not the straightest line you know you have ever seen in your life but hey okay let's say we've got this line right here y is equals to x you know let's say also we have got another line let me just look for another color a line right here Looking at these two lines, which one is steeper between the two? Is it the blue one or the purple one? Obviously, the blue one is the steepest of the two. This one is a gentle um, 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 line. So the equation, let's say, for example, is 1 over 3x, you know. Let us look at another line also. 
just pretend like that's a straight line okay we have got three lines guys the green one the blue one and the purple one this one is 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 the gentlest of the line it has got a gentle slope compared to this one compared to this one this green line is the steepest of the of all the of all those lines that are there right and i want us to note something that the slope is greater than zero in all of these things and also must i, I must mention that the slope is the coefficient of x you know what i'm saying if it is greater than zero then your graph i mean your line will be in this manner this line is steeper than this one which is steeper than this one and also another way that you can look at this in terms of the steepness of the line how close is this line to the y-axis the closest line to the y-axis will be the steepest you know of a number of lines that you might be given and also if you look at the coefficient of x the greater the coefficient of x on the positive let's just speak for the positive first the greater the coefficient of or the larger the coefficient of x on the positive the more steeper the line would be amongst um, maybe other equations of a straight line that you might that you guys might be given you know what i'm saying now let's look at um when m is less than zero so when m is positive here here m is negative okay when m is less than zero okay um when m is less than zero the coefficient of x will be a negative value you know let's reflect this graph on the x-axis it's gonna be like this and the slope here i mean the equation is going to be y is equal to minus x right so this graph was reflected on the x-axis such that it took this form you know what i'm saying if you reflect the purple one also it's going to be something like this you know it is still gentle even here so what will the equation be the equation will be y is equal to minus 1 over 3 x right and lastly the green one the green one will be like this Okay, guys, my equation are not necessarily drawn to scale. I mean, my, my functions. It's going to be minus 3x. You know what I'm saying? So, looking at these um, functions right here, this one is the steepest of all these three lines that are on this side. It's steeper than this one, compared, also compared to this one. You know what I'm saying? So, the greater the coefficient of x on the positive, the more steeper the line will be right so m tells us the steepness of the line you know it's actually the ratio right the ratio of change in the y values with respect to the x values right so that is basically um how m affects this equation you know what i'm saying if m is negative the line will be um something like this right and if m is positive the line will be um drawn in this manner all right guys looking at all these equations i mean you might ask yourself i mean it's like um I, I, these equations do not resemble this you know and then you, you might you might be like what happens what happened to the c i mean where where is the c you know can i tell you that here the c is zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero and you will ask yourself a question again so if it is zero what exactly is the c c is the y intercept c is the y intercept of the line what is a y intercept the y intercept is the point or it is actually where the graph cuts the y axis you know what i'm saying for example let's say you've got an equation of y is equals to x plus three this um line will cut the y-axis at the point three so maybe somewhere here it will cut the y-axis at the point three you know so looking at this one this one was was cutting the y-axis on at the point zero hence it was zero and i did not include it but you can include it if you are keen you know what i'm saying 
Alright, so C is the y-intercept and C is responsible C is responsible for the vertical shift of the graph of the graph let us just do an example so that you can see the the the, the effect of c right okay y x you know okay cool all right let's say we've got y is equals to x here so this is y equals to x plus zero obviously because it cuts y at zero now, what happens if the graph is shifted um, three units up? Let's say for, for this one. It's going to be like this. So this is y equals to x plus 3. You see? And also, the graph can be shifted down also. Okay, let me just raise that up. It can be shifted. And let's say the graph is shifted one unit down. So what will be the equation? Y is equals to x minus 1. This one is shifted 1 unit down. So obviously here it's going to be negative 1. And here it's going to be a 3. And here it's going to be a 0. And I just want to show you guys something real quick. You know. Um, the effect of f now. I mean, if it, if it is written as um, f of x. f of x is equal to let's say for example x plus 3 you know if they're asking you guys for the y-intercept of this equation right you are not going to collapse or you know, or faint or whatever it's the value of y or of f of x where um x is equal to 3 so i mean where x is equal to 0 actually where x is equal to 0 so it's going to be 0 plus 3 so f of 0 equals to 3 so at 0 and 3 the graph um, at 0 0 and 3 is the y-intercept of this graph you know what I'm saying that is the advantage of having your equation in terms of um, x you know what I'm saying I mean in terms of written as f of x you know or um, g of x or whatever the case may be all right okay guys we have actually tackled uh, the equation of a straight line y is equals to m x plus c we know that m is the gradient and c is the y intercept you know what i'm saying um okay so i think for this video that that is it on the next video i'm going to do two examples where i actually go deeper where i actually go deeper on the concepts that we have discussed you know what I'm saying? And if you've got any problems, you know, um, as far as straight line graphs are concerned, just comment below. Or maybe if you've got any problem that you would like me to do, you know, I will definitely do it for you. On the next video, I'll do two examples. When, I, when I'll be doing examples on this and, um, yes. And also, I'll also feature in what is a, an x-intercept and, 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 and everything. All right, do stay cool and have a fantastic day.